Extended warranty claim requires repair estimate. I used my credit card and bought an electric skateboard in fall of 2018 for $279 on Amazon. Not the best timing. But I was replacing a DIY unit that I built myself that was falling apart. Being in the Midwest United States. I got only a few weeks use out of it before the weather was too poor to ride it. Spring came along and for whatever reason. The battery would not charge. The skateboard only had a three-month manufacturer warranty and it spent most of that warranty period. Sitting in the closet due to miserable Midwest winter weather. Manufacturer warranty has now expired. It has been five months since purchase. But wait. My credit card has a feature where they will double the factory warranty on any product purchased. With the card, skateboard is only five months old. Still within the credit card six months, extended warranty, coverage. Sweet. Let's file a claim. Claim is filed. I am fully expecting them to just replace the skateboard. I get a response. They require a repair estimate before they will process the claim. Okay, fine. Let's do this. I reached out to the manufacturer. I had already opened up the skateboard and taken multiple voltage measurements. So their tech support quickly moved beyond, are you sure it's plugged in correctly, and, what? Lights do you see? They tell me it could be one of two things. It could be the battery or the circuit board that needs to be replaced. They give me a price for each. But that is not a repair estimate. That is a parts list I had used many appliance repair companies and plumbers. And most of the time their invoice, or, repair estimate, is just a generic piece of paper with their name, the word, repair, and a price. Super lazy. And yet that is good enough to get reimbursed for home warranty claims I figure that I could write. A repair estimate and I am certainly qualified to repair this. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. If I am going to do the repair, I should be compensated for my work. So I wrote an itemized estimate for myself to do the repair. It went as follows. Such and such electronic repair my home address my cell phone number. Made up invoice number today's date. Replacement battery $79 replacement circuit board $69 labor, remove damaged components. Install new $50 diagnostic fee $25 tax $12.27 total $235.27. Quote valid for 30 days. Estimate only. Well, $235.27 is less than $279. So the extended warranty company approved the invoice without hesitation. I complied with the repair estimate requirement and got paid $87.27 to fix my own skateboard and I now have a working electric skateboard that has given zero problems since my repair. I had a similar experience but with a broken vacuum cleaner instead. My repair estimate was higher than the cost of buying a new vacuum. So they sent me a check to purchase a brand new vacuum. Legend. Not really malicious but I did enjoy the compliance. My dad did something similar. The had a chain link fence installed around their yard for a new puppy they got. During the fence install, the installers broke a sprinkler line. He told the installers they needed to fix it and they said he would have to talk to their boss. My dad called up the boss and told him what happened and the boss basically said it would be out of my dad's pocket to repair by a plumber. The repair was simple enough that he went to the hardware store got all the supplies to repair it and did it himself. He then went and wrote up an itemized repair bill and sent it to the fence company. Not a week later, the fence company sent him a check for the labor and parts. Something like $100. The only thing that may be problematic is charging tax on your services when you don't remit said tax to the authorities.
That sort of thing isn't looked upon very kindly by the authorities. But otherwise, nicely done. I don't see any malice here. You obviously trusted the repair person. The company felt that the repair person gave a good quote. You got to enjoy being a shop for one job. Hopefully your customer was satisfied. And hopefully they gave you a good rating with their friends. Hee <laughs> hee. Outstanding. Well done. Those electric skateboards are a blast. Is this malicious compliance? What I read was that a consumer bought a substandard product and eventually was satisfied because the followed all the required procedures and was paid $87 for his labor by repairing it himself. Sure, it's a happy ending, and it feels like you came out with $87 in your pocket factoring your time and effort invested. You came out even. Duly impressed. You do great work. Let your friends know. Lol. Nicely complied. Out of curiosity, what did you find to be faulty when you took it apart? Due to formatting. For a second I thought, nice. Charging $69 for labor. Unfortunately that was the price of the thing listed before labor. Still. I was entertained for a second. Nice. Nice. So you basically gifted them $44, P. How did you get paid if you couldn't have a check sent to the non-existent business? ZD. Is having less than a year's warranty standard in your state? If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.